Hi, this is Jerry Werhoffig, and in this segment of Techniques Two Ways, I'm going to demonstrate a beginner's technique for making a simple two-color twisty. I'm making this particular twisty from a rod of black and a rod of white, and I've been careful to try and select rods that are roughly equivalent in diameter, which will give me a better result. So I'm warming about an inch to an inch and a half of each of these rods, holding them in the overhand position, which is the bicycle uh, grip position that you would hold handlebars. And I'm endeavoring to make one rod a little floppier than the other. As my early teacher, Kate Fowl, taught me, we're gonna think of one as the toothpaste and one is the toothbrush so I flop that white toothpaste down onto the black toothbrush and I've made sure that they are both well connected now I'm heating the black rod just beyond the white rod I'm revolving it in my hands and I want to be able to bend it down and straighten it out so that I'm attached to the tip of that white rod and now I'm heating the white rod just beyond the tip of the black, revolving it in my hand until it's soft, and I'm lapping it down and straight out again so that if I pull with the black or pull with the white, the entire set of glass, the two colors, will pull equally. Now I'm directing the heat at the seam between the two colors from one doubled shoulder to the other. I try not to let the heat wander back onto the single rod of white or single rod of glass. And I direct the flame primarily to the right hand third and the left hand third. And what I'm doing is I'm watching the black, which will get to be a glowing red. And I'm watching the white, which will turn almost transparent when it's hot. And as these colors get soupier, I try not to let my hands drift apart until the line between the rods is just starting to blur. I'm gonna come above the flame and keep rocking it till these colors get a little stiffer. And then I start to turn my hands in opposite directions. My right hand away from me, my left hand toward me. And as this cools down, I start to turn faster until I can feel that the glass is no longer moving and that's when I'll stop and just hold for a moment to make sure that my twisty is nice and straight. I'm gonna cut one end in the flame. I'm gonna stay close to the flame so I don't get any little strings. Then I'm gonna lay that twisty on my rod rest and using tweezers that I've dipped in a little bit of water, I'm just gonna fracture the connection. And usually the last thing I do before I start another twisty is I clean these rods to eliminate the messy ends that are also full of stress and likely to shock apart on my bench. Hi, this is Ann Sherm Baldwin, and I'm gonna show you another technique for making twisties. I'm gonna use four colors of glass as opposed to two. One of the things that uh, makes this different is that I'm using uh, painter's tape, masking tape, to hold the rods together. There is a key, there's a secret to putting the masking tape on, which I found out the hard way, which is that you always start the tape on the front part of the rods and twist it around. It's important to have two pieces, otherwise the rods kind of go every which way and they're unstable. The reason I put it that direction is because when I go to twist it, the masking tape won't come off of my hands. So I want to have the ends, of the, the ends of the glass rods pretty much even. And I'm going to start a little further out because there's four rods of glass, so there's more glass, dipping them in the flame and getting them warm. The other thing that you're going to need for this that you might not normally have is a rod of borosilicate glass. Borosilicate glass is a different COE than uh, soft glass, and that means that it melts at a much higher temperature. The nice thing about that, because you can't normally put these two together, the nice thing about that is the borosilicate glass will grip onto the soft glass when it's hot, but it will quickly release when it cools down. So you don't have to, you can use it as what we call a punty or a handle. 
So I've got all four rods of glass nice and warm, and I'm going to put them on the borosilicate. I'm going to spend a little bit of time making sure there's a really good join right there because I don't want it coming off when I don't expect it to. I'd like to be in control of when it comes off. Now here's the key to this one. I've got four rods of glass. They're all warm and starting to soften. And I am going to be turning my hands in opposite directions. But I am not going to be moving the four rods of glass very much. I'm going to try to keep them in the flame so that they continue to soften while I am twisting in opposite directions and pulling my left hand away from the flame. So I keep those four rods nice and warm so I can keep getting this twisty. It's not as straight as I'd like it to be. I don't want to move these out of the flame and I don't want to move them too far into the flame where it will cut through. I'm twisting them opposite directions and a little bit of a pull with my left hand with the borosilicate rod. Again, you want to remember that the borosilicate rod is going to let go at some point. So before we get too much further, I'm going to put these in the flame and pause. And there I've got a really nice four color twisty.